Center, businesses can limit workers' risk by offering gloves to employees, changing receipt paper to one that has fewer chemicals, and offer e-receipts. From now on, I don't want no receipts. Pamela Jamison told the I-Team an electronic receipt option is better for people and the planet. We need to not get receipts anymore. They need to stop it. We reached out to the companies whose receipts we tested. So far, the I-Team has heard back from Sheets. A spokesperson said the health and wellness of our customers and employees at Sheets is a priority. And we take the results from the Ecology Center's Healthy Stuff Lab study very seriously. We have proactively been working with our paper supplier to identify solutions to ensure the safety of all who visit our stores. And to take a closer look at the results from the receipts we tested and the study done by scientists at the Ecology Center, visit whio.com. Gabby, you and I talked about this a little bit earlier. There are two things that we can do right now mm -hmm. to limit our exposure. Yeah, and, you know, it's really pretty easy. A lot of stores, they offer those e-receipts now, and they say, that's just, just go ahead and do that. It's good for not only uh, yourself, but also the planet. And you can just tell the cashier, I don't need a receipt. Sure. Yeah. Easy. easy. All of us can do that. It makes it simple. You know, new here at 11 o'clock, Centerville's police department said goodbye to Officer John Davis. He retired after more than three decades with the department. I want you to listen to his last radio call this afternoon. After 31 years on the OW, it's been an honor working for the city of Centerville. And an absolute privilege to work with my brothers and sisters in Malou. Keep doing the right things for the right reasons. And now, above all, take care of each other. Take care, stay safe. And I stopped by the department's going away party for Officer Davis this afternoon. The last 11 years, he was the department's public information officer. We here at WHIO TV tonight want to thank Officer Davis for all of his help, and we wish him all the best. And now, your Storm Center 7 forecast with Chief Meteorologist Austin Cheney. The Miami Valley is getting into the Christmas spirit. We put Sky 7 in the air, as you can see right there. Hey, guy giving us a big wave and a shout out. We stopped by Carillon Park to watch crews install the Tree of Lights there at the Bell Tower. In less than two weeks, Carillon will light the tree again. It is a beautiful specimen when you get to see that thing all lit up during the month of December. It really is. And Dayton's Courthouse Square also going to get more festive. The city's holiday festival tree is now set up, as you can see. This year, the tree came from Huber Heights. The tree will soon be decorated with more than 100,000 lights. And Storm Center 7 Chief Meteorologist Austin Chain joins yep. us now, sir. With my two trees already up. So <laughs> it's been about a week and a half, maybe. Yeah, you know, first couple of days in November, we got it up. Uh, we haven't turned our outside lights on yet, but they're, we're, we're getting That'd closer to that. Right? Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, a long time. it's kind of cooperating now. It's starting to get cooler. Yeah, it certainly feels like it. Mm -hmm. uh, we enjoyed our one day of warmth, and now the cooler air has come in behind the cold front. And I know uh, we talked about this earlier, but we've got a long stretch of dry weather. If you were to pull out your WHI weather app tonight, zoom out, look at the radar, you would see what looks like a lot of rain coming our way. But this is very deceiving. The system that's causing all this rain off to our south and southwest is pulling away. So before that deeper moisture could ever get here, we're going to miss out on it. It's not good news for anybody that wants rain, but you have to get up early in the morning. You don't have to contend with that rain. So that's the good news there. Five Doppler 7 radar, scanning the skies, dry at home. It is a cool night, 48 degrees so far here in Dayton, and we're already falling down into the lower 40s across the northern stretches of the Miami Valley tonight. Other than that, though, not much to complain about as we look live into Dayton. All right, getting you out on that morning drive tomorrow morning. Yeah, 41 degrees when you wake up. You want the light jacket as you get into the car. That cool morning does give way to a mild afternoon, with temperatures climbing to around 60 degrees in some spots. Now, we're going to have clouds in the morning. Don't forget the sunglasses. You may not need them for that drive into work driving east, but as we're driving home westbound tomorrow afternoon, that sun glare is going to be at its worst from about 3.56 until sunset at 5.26, and we don't expect many clouds around that time, so it's probably going to be bright out there. Let's find out your day on SkyCast. Again, clouds in the morning, temperatures in the 40s. We get past about 10 or 11 in the morning, and that's when the breaks in the clouds are getting bigger. We've got the blue skies coming out. Overall, it should be a very nice day tomorrow. And then as we fast forward to tomorrow evening, if you're going out to those football games tomorrow night for week three of the playoffs, grab the jacket. Already down to 46 degrees by 8 p.m. tomorrow night. 
Now, here's what we're talking about with everything just missing us. Let's take a look at future cast. So, we know the rain tonight is going to skip out on us. It'll pass by to our south, and we just get the clouds. Another very similar situation comes our way into Sunday. Notice cloud cover increases, but the best chance for rain is not coming our way. So, if you want rain, we're just going to be watching it slide by to the south. Maybe once we get past the seven-day forecast, things can shake up a little bit. So the weekend, though, is in good shape. Dry conditions both days. Temperatures upper 40s to lower 50s. If you're going out to Columbus on Saturday night for the Ohio State-Michigan State game, grab the jacket for that as well. We are down in the 30s by 9 o'clock at night. Seven-day forecast, very dry weather to go around. It looks like the two coolest days come our way this weekend. Highs again around 50, lows near freezing. But we do migrate back to the upper 50s, even lower 60s by the end of next week. Thank you, sir. A common antibiotic is hard to find as illnesses ramp up. We're going to talk with the doctor about the impact this could have on kids trying to heal.